Is this on? I think so. Oh, good. Yeah, it is. Hi. Okay. Um, so I'm keeping my voice down because uh, there are things up above and down below that if they hear me, they're going to come after me and try to kill me again. So, um, I'm the receptionist. Nice to meet you. Since I don't know who you are yet and I haven't met you and you're just watching this tape, um, I'm going to save my actual name for when you find me and I will tell you how to do that in a moment. Um, <laughs> so, bad news, good news, bad news, you're in hell, good news, you're in hell. Um, it could be worse. Uh, <laughs> see, some people go to purgatory. I personally think that's worse, and I'll tell you why. Um, not to overwhelm you. Okay, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I tend to do that. Anyway, um, I'm, <laughs> I'm called the receptionist because I leave these videos all over the nine layers of hell, which, by the way, Dante was correct about that aspect of hell, even though we miss the mark on a lot of things, and they don't exactly work um, how, you know, we'd expect. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I leave these videos around for people like you, newcomers. Um, the nice thing is, <laughs> It's no moral judgment against you that you've ended up here in hell. That's, um, unfortunately, we humans uh, are all kind of lumped into one category. Uh, we all get to pay for the sins of the rich, annoying, awful bastards amongst us who caused all the problems. So, if you want to, you know, thank anyone for the layer of hell that's just an ocean on fire with a forest and a um, shore and even a beach that's on fire, you should probably thank the oil companies who made that possible. Um, because hell is a manifestation of humanity's sins. Um, that means the nine layers of hell are ruled by personified um, incarnations of natural disasters, and I say natural very lightly. Um, I have no idea how hell used to be, seeing as most of the people who have been here for a long time have been killed enough times um, that they're just kind of withered shells of their souls at the bottom in the ninth layer, which you do not want to end up there. Um, because it's kind of just an amalgamation of every horrible, awful, terrible thing that's ever happened to or been done by humanity. So, here's how it works, newcomer. Um, if you want to stay alive, you're going to be doing a lot of running. If you want to stay alive on the third level, that's where I'm from, so that we tell each other apart, uh, kind of like a badge of honor except without the honor. Um, anyway, if you want to survive down there, that's the earthquake level. So you see a crack starting, you feel the floor shaking, you're going to want to get under cover. And sometimes that still doesn't work. Um, in order to make it up a level, you got to send someone down. We got to uh, keep the balance. So, yes, that does mean if I'm up here on the top layer, uh, layer zero, if you will, um, welcoming you. Uh, well, that does mean I killed a couple of people. And since this is hell, uh, they don't die permanently, which is good, um, because I would be dead. I've been sent down a couple of times. I've never made it to the ninth level, which is good, because... Yeah, like I said, that's a fucking mess down there. Um, right, so, survival tips. First layer, that's, uh, it's easy to survive, honestly. Uh, nobody is really able to just kill each other. 
um, not a whole lot of weapons available. Uh, the primary things to look out for on the first level um, is viruses, bacteria, antibiotic resistant bacteria, uh, because of the plague rats who don't finish their fucking antibiotic course. Um, funguses. Yeah, so those are three big things to look out for on the first level. And um, hold on one sec. You're going to want this. Or if you want to get some people killed, uh, you're going to want this. And see, you can spit the virus back out if you have it um, without sucking anything new in. Uh, some people weaponize that. They'll get sick and then they'll give it to other people. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's how you get people killed on the first level. Um, because you're on the first level, though, uh, the reprieve that you get for killing someone there is um, that you end up back here on the uh, greeting level. You can stay here for, I've figured out, probably a full day. Time is kind of weird here. Um, before they just, like, straight up send you straight down. Um, there's some wild shit up here that will try to kill you. And it will come in the form of whatever you fear most. So, keep a lookout for that. Um, this mask. <laughs> Definitely gonna want that. Because... Even if you're not on the first level, even if you're not a firsty, um, you know, you don't <laughs> come down here with one dot on your cheek, um, which I can see, you know, I can see that uh, most people are these days. So the people who are left um, after all the fires and the hurricanes and the, you know, um, <laughs> giant tropical storms, um, flooding, just crumbling infrastructure, everything that is killing people these days. Hold on one sec. Um, yeah, the people who aren't killed by that kind of stuff are typically firsties. They are dead by microbial evil little bastards that have spread through humanity. Um, yeah, and by the way, it sucks. Don't get sick. It's it's bad, because if you die, you're still going to have the disease for a long time, even though you're trying to battle it out in the other layers. It's bad. I, I got something. I don't even know what it was. Um, man, that thing killed me three times. I, I, I went down three layers uh, before I kind of shook it. So, um, yeah. All right, well, I... Uh, trying to think. <laughs> I haven't been down below level four for a while. I don't, again, time is different here. Who knows how long it's been up there um, by the time you find this video. Um, right, so, so, but we got the first level. First, these are typically the one dot, and they've, they've been killed by something viral or bacterial or fungus. Um, layer two, is, um, I believe that is flooding. So anybody who was killed as a result of flooding or, um, you know, poisoned water, uh, bad water, like, you know, um, that's, that's anything where it was something in the water. That's layer two. Uh, layer three is the earthquake people, uh, <laughs> like, you know, the, the, uh, trifecta of dots on the cheek. Um, I can't remember if level four is hurricane or um, ice storm. So le level four and level five are hurricane and ice storm. I can't remember which is which. Um, either way, it sucks and you will freeze or you will uh, be swept away and thrown into an ocean or cut up by debris. It's not good. Um, I think... Yeah, I, I can't remember. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is just chaos. Uh, it's the chaos realm. If you end up down there, that's because you fell down a whole bunch of layers and people killed you. Um, so I'll, I'll think of the others eventually. You just got to give me a, a little bit. Oh, yeah. Um, so solar flares. Um, I think 
is layer 7. So anything that was like, oh, the depleted ozone layer, and now there's <laughs> dangerous radiation coming through, and um, you died of cancer or of a direct, you know, uh, heat-related death uh, that was not a fire, um, is level 7. I think, I can't remember what 8 is. Did I, did I skip, did I skip six? I think I skipped six. Um, <laughs> starvation. So if, you know, you starve to death, um, that was six. So, uh, you know, because of uh, food shortage issues, because we were throwing away a lot of food in a lot of countries, um, and ignoring the poor uh, and the starving. So that is definitely a layer. Um, I can't remember what eight is. I feel like it's another kind of natural disaster type of a thing. Um, but I, I don't... Oh, I think it was poisonous air. Like polluted air. Like just straight up like air pollution. Um, yeah. So anyway, those are our nine levels. And each one is ruled by a anthropomorphized, um, humanized, so to speak, incarnation of those disasters. Uh, you do not want to meet them. They will send you down to the next level real quick. So, um, yeah, uh, as you can see, I got in a, a good scuffle to come up here to make it back up. I, I hadn't made a video in a while, and I thought I should update because we've uh, a couple of layers I think have shifted around a bit and uh, it's always good to have updated information. Um, also I'm at a new place. Uh, uh, I'm sheltering at a new place on the third level so uh, you can come down there to find me. Um, at that point I don't know by the time you get down there I might have been you know killed down a level or two. Um, so I might be paddling my way back up. I got it. Someone to, you know, it's, it's rough. <laughs> it, uh, let me tell you, it took me a good, you know, five years before I was comfortable killing anyone. But, um, there comes a certain point where you're hovering between seven and eight and you're, you're like, you're feeling that you're going down. And, and like I said, people who end up on nine, Sometimes they come back. Most of the time they don't. Um, earlier I mentioned purgatory, right? Okay, so purgatory is a kind of where people who die of natural causes that are genuinely natural. Um, so not like uh, you know something that is directly and predictably their own fault. Um, such as like drunk driving, being an idiot, um, <laughs> like, you know, it, essentially if your punishment should be that you are permanently cut off from other people, so serial killers, um, they'd be too comfortable here, uh, they, they would have too much of an advantage, um, yeah, serial killers, um, I think rapists are just, they're out, they're in purgatory, man, that's it, I don't need that shit. Um, basically anyone who needs to be kept alone for the rest of eternity without any uh, human contact. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, that is, that is uh, why you want to actually be in hell, because you never get to socialize again. If you're in purgatory, you don't get to eat, you don't get to drink, you don't get to do anything. Um, you don't even get to die again, like at least the pain you feel something. Um, purgatory, you're just wandering an empty void forever. Um, definitely glad you didn't end up there. Um, yeah, so uh, also this is, uh, you know, tragic, but not tragic if you have a pet. I have seen animals. Um, I personally didn't have a pet, but some people have been reunited with their animals. 
Um, that was loud. Sorry. I just touched the computer. <laughs> um, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so some people have been reunited with their animals. Um, I don't know why the animals deserve to go to hell, but that does kind of make me think maybe there is no heaven. Um, and that this is really just a shared consciousness of suffering uh, that we have manifested jointly as a species. Um, something else you should probably know. Uh, people who have been down here longer, um, they typically have more inhuman features. I'm talking like horns, fangs, some of them even have like wings, bat wings, feathered wings, you know, um, losing their humanity a bit. And, and typically that is a sign that you have killed a lot of people. So being killed means that eventually you're going to have to kill someone. Um, because otherwise you end up in layer nine. And like I said, I can't stress this enough. That's bad. Um, yeah, so <laughs> try not to get killed because that means you have to kill, which means you're going to start losing it a bit. Um, some people just have physical features. Uh, I got the start of fangs going here. Um, other people develop a craving for human flesh. Some of them are like genuinely going insane. Um, yeah, there's, there are some people who start uh, wishing that they had actually done worse things um, in life so that they could end up in purgatory because their pain tolerance is that low. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> There, I, I mean, it's 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 all a huge mess, like I said. But we gotta work with what we got. Um, so once you're done, like freaking out and having your mandatory cry session, which by the way, it does feel good. Um, it is smart to do that and get that out of the way, um, because if you're a loud light crier, um, you definitely don't want to do it on any of the lower levels, uh, where they will hear you. Um, and by they, I do mean other people who are going to be trying to work their way back up to the greeting level um, for that reprieve of a day. Uh, I know that there are some people who just go back and forth and back and forth between the first layer and the second layer, I mean, and the, the zeroth layer. Um, they just go back and forth and back and forth. Uh, I'm guessing that's why the, the you know, viral bacterial fungus level is the, the first one um, because it typically does take a little while to get someone killed using one of those tools. Um, seeing as there are really no weapons other than um, not wearing a mask. Uh, yeah, so that's something to keep in mind too. Um, oh, I'm running out of time on this recording. Uh, so find me on the third level. Look for people who have the three dots. That's the earthquake level. Um, I lived in Vancouver. The big one happened. We did not have a contingency plan. Um, we didn't have any plan, actually, uh, for an earthquake of that magnitude. Um, so down I went. Um, <laughs> yeah, anyway. All right, well, Come down to the third level, ask around for the receptionist. That is how I am known in in, um, in hell. So, yeah, I, I will see you, hopefully. Uh, just tell, tell me when you meet me um, that you saw my video and uh, that you are looking for assistance and guidance. Um, and I will help you out. I will give you a care package. I've got got like chocolates, um, I've got oranges, I got like all sorts of little things, you know, this is a, a peanut <laughs> flavored chocolate, hopefully you're not allergic because that shit does carry over, can't kill you though, just makes you really uncomfortable, um, I got like jewelry, I can glitz you out so at least you look good while you're hunting and being hunted, um, and like I said, again, going down to the first level after this, get a mask, 
Um, and if you're homicidal and you want to try and stay up here a little longer, get one of these masks and you'll probably get someone killed or just don't wear one. But then you run the risk of contracting it yourself. Um, it, it, then it's down to, down, you know, down to layer two, um, which is, I think I said, the wildfire level. And you do not want to end up there for a long time. It's gnarly. Um, yeah. All right. Well, I guess I'll see you when I see you, hopefully. Um, eventually, you'll probably work your way down to my level, whether you mean to or not. All right. Again, I'm the receptionist. Ask for the receptionist on layer three. Um, I'll see you when I see you.